Yeah, it's the Rana Fez Show. It's Friday, movie day. Time to talk with Paul O. From the legendary Rana Fez Studios in a predominantly white neighborhood, Rana Fez presents Showtime with the Paul O. Yeah, thank you, Blackie, uh, Big Hands. Here's Paul O. Paul. Paul O, your life's a movie. How are you? Your life's a movie, Paul. How are you? Horrible, as usual, you know. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm, you know, it's not a normal day if I'm not in the midst of a, a, a regular crisis. What's bothering you today, Paul? No, it's just that, um, you know, last night she was talking suicide because one of the four dogs is getting old. Right, let her gonna... do it. When the wife wants to commit suicide, let her do it. Why right. would you even I... interrupt the conversation, Paul? Yeah, she's asking me, will you help me? Yes. You know. The answer is yes. Yeah, I understand. But the point is, and then she, uh, this morning when I was tra trying to take a nap, she drove off with the dog. And she's prone to accidents. So, you know, she's out there with the dog uh, driving wildly to the vet or driving wildly back. I don't know. It's so you, you're a little nervous. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm always a little nervous because it's a daily crisis. But anyway, the other thing, of course, on my mind is the last time we spoke, you know, you, you kind of woke me up out of my lethargy, my apathy, and, and motivated me to care, yeah. which is the welcome, worst Paul. thing you can do to me. All right, what, what are you caring about now, Paul? You, you know, you, yeah, I mentioned the movie briefly uh, that I would like to direct, and then you, 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 know, you got me motivated to actually right. care about it. Now I've got it all worked up in my head. And It does seem like this film is going to take place, right? It, I, I mean, the, the point is, is, to a certain extent, I... I uh, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, because there's a lot of people who are interested and everything else, and I want to make sure that uh, that the person who's holding the purse strings is going to do it as a write-off so we don't have to worry ourselves well, about Well, you that. told us that you could make 20 or $30 million with this. I, now it, you don't think you can rec recoup no, the No, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want to I My point is, is that I don't want to have that because it's the, all of the burden is going to be on me. I don't want to have that concern on my head. Of $10,000. Uh, uh, whatever. I just, uh, you know, because there's a lot of fans <laughs> and so on, you know, say, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. That's the point. I want right. to... I want to make sure that I... Here's, I here's one of the problems. You've got to s stop using me as executive producer. Okay. I hear you're using my name <laughs> as executive producer, and that has got to stop. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the problem, because you motivated me. And right. That, that, and more likely, even though, yeah... It, if it's, this thing does become a hit, throw me a couple mil. Yeah. But don't I, say anything about it before. I understand. Can I understand. we motivate you to look more into that murder suicide pack with your wife? That, that's the movie. <laughs> well, to a we can extent, we have to do this in one take. I, I, it's not so much that you're executive producer. I would just like to think that there would be some sort of synergy going on. Yeah, I mean, we will promote this once it doesn't get picked up. Obviously. <laughs> It's not, it, you know. We will oh. be laughing, and, you know, I know Bobo's involved with you, right? Well, he's, you know, there's a whole bunch of people who, who stepped up and say, yeah, yeah, great. Right. And, he, here's uh, here's you know. a really weird thing. So when I got the picture of uh, that Bobo did of you, Fezzi, the painting, right, and w with your own beard put on there, it was sent to me, Kathleen from the Bronx, some other people. And then I noticed on this list, the Gale O. As if Bobo and Paulo's wife are friends, is that right? Paul, hey, do they talk? No. What I what I did was when you guys went on vacation, uh -huh. I figured, what the hell? I'll post on the website and uh, you know just find out exactly if anybody was interested, and there were right. tons of people interested, and you know a lot. You're of excited. The excitement level is there. I know KOP well, wants it to be. Was, but then work I on it. Back this is a huge cast. Yeah, I literally. Know. So, I mean, to a certain extent, yes, this is a film that, that the whole challenge is to make this for next to nothing. So, yeah, there's not a real financial worry there. But there's still a few thousand dollars involved, and I, and I feel responsible. Perhaps as much as ten. It's bloomed. It's <laughs> ballooned to so much as ten thousand yes, dollars. How did you get this far over budget, oh? <laughs> and I truly do believe that, yes. It, now, it, any film with that would be cupcakes. That would be the cupcake budget. And the challenge is to yes to make as much money as possible, but it's also if you come up with eleven thousand, you're going to break <laughs> even. Exactly. So it's not that difficult. That would really just be showing it once. And 
Yeah, and and the insane uh, the idea that this could you know make millions and millions because it, I, I really the challenge is to make something really qu- uh, a quality film as well, and it sounds like she's back. Oh, oh great! So okay. I hear her barking. <laughs> Oh, my I, own so, Otis have returned from their journey. So, so we'll see. I mean, at this well, that point, that Galo you know, had no idea that Paul would be waiting for her. <laughs> at this point, uh, I'm going to hope that people will motivate me because, uh, you know, my life is sliding downward. Now, is Gail excited about the film as well? Well, then you mentioned the other thing about doing a, a, a film with, you know, a camera in my hat and following her around, which right. you've done kind of concurrently uh par- you know parallel yeah like, like so you know the making cool. of the documentary making of will be bigger than the film what's it like to be a director's alcoholic fat wife so so that Blue skin is, so i mean the the fact is is that it's to, to a certain extent it's on you that you motivated me and now sure. i care about something and now you well know, I, i'm glad to know that i'm executive producing two different projects <laughs> thank you all right, as far as the film... The Ron Bennington machine has done it again. <laughs> you know, I, I am known for those big summer tentpole movies. Guys. That's hey, what I'm after. Look, Paulo, before we get... You want to review some movies today, yeah, right? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, we can well, talk about anything that, that we he, haven't talked about. Here's something that was interesting to me. I read this today. Twelve films this year have come out without being seen by the critics first. That they do not want the, the critics to see it. And they bypass you guys. Yeah, obviously. Actually, they did screen bench warmers for me, strangely enough. But, I mean, that that was aggressively not screened for critics. And, yes, there is an aggressive tendency to make crappy, really crappy movies because they're, they're aiming for a demographic that, you know. Retarded. That, that will buy it, that will go see it. And they don't need the critics who actually care about quality to get involved. So they've kind of turned you guys into the bad guys, right? Yeah, of course, we're the bad guys, because we care about, uh, you know, uh, some sort of uh, standard of intelligence. Will I you assume. just eventually be phased out? Uh, yeah, I assume that that is, that is actually the, uh, the the direction that things are heading, that intelligence I assume is, being we're done. is being phased out. Now, don't the other critics get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, as you know, uh, this has been a big discussion as well. I mm-hmm. do this. I've been paid uh, by various outlets over Give us here, one. Including you guys. And I don't ever I, remember us paying you. We well, never yeah, gave you a check. You, 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 don't, you, know, you don't want to get involved with executive producing a movie either, but I'm just saying this has been happening by the people who handle those sort of things. I took you to Kentucky to get your teeth fixed once. That's about it. Really? Who, who's, Earl, well, have you been paying him behind money. my back? No, not at all. He did take me. We went on a long, luxurious drive. It's true, but there's many things, as, but there's been actual payment as well as many perks, and this is another thing that came up at some point. But, I mean, that's besides right. all of that. You got I mean, the free tattoos. It had, Well, yeah, and the, and the medical hair restoration and all right. of that. Right, you're welcome. Priceless. And, and, I, and I do appreciate it, and, of course, uh, the many beautiful memories. But the, the sure. fact is... <laughs> we have had all our times. The fact is, is that, yes, people do handle these things and... and you know, they, they keep you out of it so you can focus on the things that are important to you. Mm-hmm. So Why I mean, do I yeah. get to feel like this is going to end up like the movie Envy, where I should have really gotten the executive producer credit on this? Yeah, because yeah, cause what happens if it does wind up making like $175 million? You'll give me money. Then I you'll know hate that. me. Yeah. Then you will really hate me. And yes, I'll give you a, a, a mill, sure, but that you won't think that that was enough. I'll think it's plenty. All right. Okay, fine. I mean, you know, at this give point, it to me now. And you can't be hated any more than you already are. That's true, and I and I and you know that's been a big part of the whole. Problem I will tell you this: is. the making of could really sell. The fucking story with him and that lunatic wife and the flea dogs. I think people would watch that. And of course, you know, then you've got a built-in extra for the DVD, or you could package them separately, whatever. But in any case, yeah, I'm happy to review movies this week. And yes, and indeed, they they don't care for if we review them. Nothing anymore. good's coming out, right? You know, the the best thing that's come out recently was thank you for for smoking. I think, and even that wasn't fully great. the full potential of the movie wasn't realized. But I still think it's a great concept, and it was and and it brought up a lot of great issues about people selling their souls. For their jobs, I mean, this is the alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, you know, uh, the uh, the lobbyists uh, having to, you know, basically say anything to, to push the devil's agenda. All right, Paulo, so that was it? That's the only film out? No, there's, there's millions of films out there. There's Lucky, uh, Sle- uh, you know, that... Uh, yeah, Lucky, well, Lucky Slevin, what's happening there? Lucky Number Slevin. This is another very clever, very, you know, 
hip uh, type of uh, Tarantino ripoff, Mamet ripoff, uh, where there, there are people being killed every five. Did five. you like it? It, it, it's annoying. It was annoying more than anything else. But I mean, you got the big actors. I mean, Morgan Freeman and and uh, uh, you know, um, what's his Other name? Other people. <laughs> and Jessica Tandy. The point is, is it doesn't make any sense. And that's the biggest problem I have with most movies today is they they're losing the sense of reality. You've got. Taste. Is your film going to have a sense of reality? Yeah, actually, it is. It's do you have, have a title yet for your film? I do have a title, but I'd rather not say it. Is uh, it I, Negro? I only please. Want to say it to the executive producer. All right, so, all right, I'll executive produce. <laughs> Tell me what it is. I got to know. All right, uh, I, I have actually the title for the sequel too. Yeah. Uh, one is called uh, the the the, the uh, title is Gap. Gap. All right, I can see as a producer, we're gonna have a problem with the clothing store. That's what I worry about. The sequel is Baby Gap. <laughs> there's there, it, there's no stop. The, the name of this thing is Gap. The story of Paulo's wife's vagina. <laughs> there's no stop. And we don't have to capitalize it either, which would probably remove save a lot us. of the... We could just make it small letters. Yeah, well, it'll save us a lot of money. No, no. Now, this I, is a, a horror film, a slasher film? It's a, it's a horror film, yes. Give and me the are, pitch. You know, pitch it to me right now. We Well, we discussed it. As I said, I can't discuss a lot of the elements of it because of, a lot of it is secret. You you, you sort of said that it, you caught a, sort of guessed that it might be some side of a right. snuff film. Right. Now, if we had to say who a perfect star was for this, who would it be? Well, as I said, part of the reality element of this film is, is that I need essentially complete unknowns. You can even audition actors for me if, that, if, if, if you choose to. All I mean, right. I, uh, so far, the cast is going to be Bits, Bronx Johnny, Eastside Dave, and Roberto. I need... I need I Green. use Roberto as the star. And it, it has to happen between 11 or 2, or these guys won't listen to me. <laughs> I, I, need, I need three males, two females in the 20-something 20, uh, 20 age, 21 to 29. Will the, will the women have to get naked? I, I think everybody's going to have to get in their underwear, women in panties and, and uh, bras. All right, Bitsy, I hope you don't have any problem with that, but you're in your underwear in this scene. Yeah, and, you know, jockey's preferable, but it's not, you know... Uh, DVDs, something like that. But the point is, is that I need five twenty twenty year old types, and uh, do they have to be beautiful? Uh, no, okay. no. And then we discussed having. Uh, it's going to be. Is there a part for Fez? If I'm an executive producer, he's got to be in the film. There, there, Even if it's just a cameo where I'm waiting at uh, outside the gap. Oh, yeah, right, the thing is, the cameo would mean that you're such a big star that everyone knows you just by seeing you. I don't see you having that kind of pool outside of Pinellas Park. A cameo is possible. It's it's fairly simple setup, as I say. Fairly easy filming thing. Three days, something like that. All right, hold on. Here's Bobo. Bobo, you're on the air. Hey, buddies. Hey, yeah. Paulo. Hey, Bobo. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that that my sincerity was understood because I I really you know would like to why be involved in this and I am kind of connected I'm friends with Ted Boas who directed Vampire Vixens from Venus and I'm friends with Fred Olin Ray who directed Attack of the Sixty Foot Centerfold. Mm -hmm. So you're coming to the executive producer demanding a new director already? Well, no, no. Do you want us to get rid of Paul? Oh, I'd be glad to do it. I just figure you got the director and the executive producer right in the room and the, and the featured cameo. And, and <laughs> Sure. I want to do as little as possible. No, you don't have to do anything. Oh, good. Then I'm that, doing What it. I'd like to get is, yeah. is a do-boy of some sort to handle a few little details. Like what? Earl can be our do-boy. You know, just so I can call him and just say, could you check on this? Could you yeah. check on that? And All maybe right. once a week. And he's, you know, I already talked to him once a week. Earl or Eastside Dave, which one of you wants to be do-boy? I, I know Earl, and I, I, I... You feel more comfortable with him? I just know Earl. You know, we have a, a certain kinship. And Earl, I don't know whether you know this or not, Polo, he is becoming so connected with film. He's got us involved with the Tribeca Film Festival this year. We have directors in here all the time. I agree. I Talking understand. distribution with them. I now think. I'm suddenly starting to feel good about this. Now that I was able to lock down Fez Watley for a cameo... <laughs> And it's really a rolling cameo. It's, you're going to be in a, a few scenes. Now, oh, interesting. a lot of people have questions. Keep showing up on the bus. Just be ready for this, Fez. Your head's going to be cut off. You're going to be carrying it through a graveyard. And your line is, I want my cake. 
I want my bloody cake. I can I nail that. Show. You know what? I'm even thinking about changing the name of this from Gap to Bloody Cake. <laughs> mm. I'll be glad to do it. Because a third here's my thing. In the three days. All right. Uh, do you like cake, Fuzz? Yes. And I think most people do. Oh, sure. Yes. Are you afraid of blood? No. Yes, you are. Yeah. So go from something you're afraid of to something sweet. Scary. Like, I want cake, but it's covered, covered in blood. <laughs> this has got everything, Bobo. And one of the things Perfect. one of the things that I'd like Earl to check on is where I can get animal organs. Uh, Earl, uh, do you know a pig farmer? You can get it on the line. Chetlands. <laughs> I can get that. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind doing something with Earl being on the cast. You have a part for a janitor or some kind of uh, overnight security. I would like a, a railroad purser who frightens easily. All right, I Earl. I want you to give me a reading. Right. I just want you to say the line: "Feets don't fail me now." <laughs> or look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh Jesus Christ! Look at the hair standing up on my arm. This is going to be fucking great. This would like be nice, Paulo, for him if he gets you know this part and that credit. Special has, assistant to Mr. O. Has Earl ever revealed his age? Earl is elderly. I'm going to tell you right now, but Scatman Crothers and he played on the same uh, wiffle ball team. Um, then he's out. You, you know, if he's Scatman... We, yeah, we need youngers. we, we got to have young. the youngers, yeah. we got to have them fuckable, as you like to say in the business. <laughs> Well, How about him just doing the final theme, the song? There's a gap in my heart that's filled with bloody cake. I just think that it's important that the concept that I have is strong, and and it's all about, you know, that the the 20-year-old demographic is the core we got to go after them. we got to get the kids in there. Uh, what about music? Bobo, you play the ukulele, right? Yeah, and I've could, actually done some film music, well, then so I'm happy you, to help out. Could you take that ukulele, break it, and then pick up the phone and start calling around, see yeah, if we can I'll, get some I'll music be somewhere? Yeah, I'll just with a broken ukulele. Well, yeah. well in fact, I, I have what I would like, if, if I could, is to get two unknown uh, bands. One, uh, let's say, uh, modern rock and the other uh, rap, uh, okay. to sign over the rights to a couple of songs. I was of, thinking Crankcase for the rock. And then for the rap, I was thinking Jay Z, and I don't. That one might even be tougher. Well, if they'll we'll work on Crankcase. It's up to you to get Jay Z Polo. Yeah. yeah, because he's not working anymore, from what I understand. And no. if, if if no, but I mean honestly, I want somebody who who will uh, feel free to to sign over the rights for the use in the yeah. film. Well, you know, uh, KOP can uh, help with that. Here's uh, Jeremy. You're on Manifest. What's up, buddies? Yeah. I got to see if Paulo's got the budget for uh, special effects. Do a little self whoring here. Uh, what do you think about special effects? Uh, well, it can be done without the special oh, effects. Oh, one of those movies. It I can don't know. Be done without. But I would, I would like if we could get professional film horror makeup. Well, that's what I do, but uh, I don't know. You're talking we can do without. I don't want to see another one of those direct-to-blockbuster, well, blood on the walls, it's, it's a gag. If this went uh, direct-to-blockbuster, it would be thrilling. No, but you see... You know, uh, direct-to-a-back lot somewhere. But I, there's nothing worse looking than fake blood, except maybe fake blood on a cake. I, well, to a certain extent, I appreciate... I'm against the bloody cake thing now. It seems stupid. Hi. He's making a point, and by all means, sir, contact me. Uh, you know, on right, I'm gonna website. I'm gonna have my uh, my do boy talk to him. <laughs> I want you to talk to uh, Jeremy about being the makeup guy. This is all coming together. Uh, here's uh, Brendan. Brendan, you're on run fest. Hey, how's it going? I'm 25. I want to be in uh, Paul's movie. G -g 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 -g. Right. Are you a good looking kid, uh, Brendan? Yeah, I'm all right. How big's the dick? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's big, man. It's big. Girth. <laughs> Will it look good in underwear? Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Yours, right, Polo? <laughs> Your underwear, you sick fuck. Polo, I, I don't need, need two females. To... And that's obviously... To me, too, brother. It's Friday. I got to have at least two. I yeah. got an itch. And they're crucial. They're very crucial. They're, the, the, you know, the three guys, you know, it, they could be anybody to a certain extent, but the two females are crucial. That, you want them to be Asian girls? Uh, Asian is one. It, I'd like a nice mix, you know. Black, Asian, the whole deal. Black and Asian. Everybody's covered. Everybody's covered. Uh, Are they going to have speaking lines or just screaming a lot? Everybody's going to have speaking lines, yes. Yeah. 
and they'll be for I, free. Uh, do you remember your uh, speaking line, Fez? I want my bloody cake. And then, Earl, you see him, and what do you say? Beats don't fail me now. I forgot to look at it, look at it. I forgot to look at it, look at it. <laughs> All right, and cut. Polo, let's grab a feedback. I'm starving. Yes, absolutely. Can I look at my dailies? And, you know, this is the Tyne thing. Dailies. I do Just not look want at Tyne Dailies <laughs> and see if that makes you feel better. I do not want the budget to balloon. I mean, right. the so, makeup and the... Right. Uh, and the, and, and the, we got to have sandwiches. Catering. Don't fucking starve in. And uh, there is three nights. There's four nights of filming, three nights of filming, or, or three days of filming, and one night where we go out party first. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of part and of And then film. Whole, you film partying, and uh, that will be the first first night. And then the, the, the next three nights will be very intense. And maybe uh, if you're not up for a very intense uh, experience, you you won't want to sign on for this. It's going to be pretty it's gonna be uh, scary. Right. It's going to be a scary experience for everybody involved. Not for the weak of heart. Not for, yeah, exactly. So that's... that's. Uh, if you have a back condition. Uh, Killer C, you're on Runa Fez. Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, I'm on the road right now, so I might lose you, but I just wanted to let you know uh, I'm willing to give you guys a couple of songs if you want them. You can check me out uh, if you want to hear some of our stuff. It's on DirtySuck.com. Uh, DirtySuck.com? Dirty, like D-I-R-T-Y, uh -huh. T-H-U-G.com. All right, Earl, Earl, run over there now while we're on here and see if we can't grab some of Click on the downloads. Yeah. We got a lot of, you're talking about a horror type movie. I mean, that's kind of my specialty. You'll see that once you get into the main page there. We do all our shit professionally. We, get, we do a lot of shit, man. It's, it goes down pretty well, you like, man. You like that Rob Zombie guy. <laughs> no, he just, he just rap. Yeah, you're yeah, a rapper, we, right, Killer? Yeah, that's right. We have a we do we we put a little bit of rock influence into this shit sometimes. Uh -huh. But it is straight up rap. You know what I mean? I've gotten into a little bit of singing, but uh, that's not really my thing. I got a couple partners that do it really well, though. All right, but, hold I mean, on. We can we can go any way with it, you know. All right, hold on. Earl, are you able to grab this for us at all? Yeah, I, I, no, I can get it. audio in here. Pitts is on it. Because I'd like to hear what the soundtrack is going to sound like. Uh, Bobo. Yes, sir. I want you to know, as the executive producer, I won't be coming to any of the filming or having much to do about it until we get to profit sharing. I'll be your eyes. Thank you. And to a certain extent, I don't like executive producers to be, you know, uh, micromanaging. I'm not going to be like that at all. <laughs> I believe in you. And I, I agree, and you, you well should, because you know how, how in our, for the many years, I have never cared about anything, and now you... I know, you really are back. This is like the Paulo that I never met. Yeah, and to a certain, I mean, you know, I couldn't get my temple picture made because I, I needed a, a mentor, but... That now, was called The End of the World. Well, I, you know, that was... Now, have you uh, written up any script at all? I have it all ready. Everything is ready, essentially, but I'm going to need at least two months to get the time off and make sure that, uh, you know, I can drive up and bring right. Gail and the dogs if he's still alive, if we're still alive at this point. That's a, that's a big uh, deal breaker, actually, if we actually survive by the time the filming starts. And then you figure we can get this whole thing done in three days. Three, four days. Three, uh, four. And, and the, the That's going to put us on a $2,500 a day budget. Yeah, which well, has got me a little nervous. The essence, uh, the, the, obviously, the budget can balloon. We need we need uh, a participation of, of a person with the the best camera we can get, uh, which you know the video, digital video, which a lot of the people are using today to to make films. What and, if we use Earl's camera? Earl, well, do you have a problem with that? I have no idea. Oh, not good. at all. If, if, and we, you know, there's been a lot of talk that I'm not caring about a lot of the details. Like Paula, we can't use Earl's camera. Why? It's a uh, it's photography. It's not a movie camera. camera. Yeah, but we're just going to take a lot of them, and then fucking all you do is pull it back, and then you'll see them moving around. Yeah, but and then no, it's stop mean, action. You know, I've heard this is going to be a stop action film <laughs> with real people. Uh, yeah, I mean that's Tim Burton's area with the uh, you know the the, the stop animation. Uh, here's Chris. You're on Fez. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, I want to get in uh, Paula's movie. I'm uh, young and look good in undies. Uh, yeah, penis great. size. Great. And you see... Yeah, uh, uh, what about tattoos? I got a few of those. Uh. That's fine. That's not a problem. The, the issue is, is that I have an enormous amount of uh, interest in the male parts. I have a, a couple of females, but...
obviously we want to get the best people possible, and we have, you know, we only have five roles technically. We'll have some hooker uh, money there, so we'll just get them to act in it. Well, you yeah. know, as long as they're committed to the project and willing to a little bit of mental mental torture. Believe me, if they're with me, they're going to go through some mental torture. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I mean, and so the, the, the issues are I need a location, I need a camera, and there's people who are concerned that I'm not showing enough interest in the sound quality. By all means, if we need a sound person, I hear that there's people involved. That this are, is a talkie, right? It doesn't yeah. have to be. Yes. I mean, first of all, we have is a camera that just takes still pictures. But to a, to a certain extent, I really am going to break down the language. Is it a, a, a movie or a slideshow? It, no, I'm going to be breaking down the language of cinema. So to a lot of extent, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system for the people who see this film. And All right, Paul, I want you to hear some of uh, our soundtrack. They've already started it without being right. set up. But this is by uh, Killer Somebody Fez. Was that his name? Killer C and off the website DirtyThug.com. Yeah. It's amazing. I see this is the opening credits. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it sounds good to me. I can use it. Yeah. And we haven't even heard anything yet. This is perfect. I mean, it, he's going to be singing soon, right? No, it's a Casio thing, really. It, no, he said it was professionally done. This is this is the latest in beatbox, I'm sure. You know who you should get in touch with? Your former intern, Bits, in D.C. Oh, yeah. He did great rap stuff. That's going to be you. You're going to be the regular producer. I'm executive producer, so I go, good, Bobo, oh, spend okay, your money on that. So so just to keep our budget in line, what we want is a, a participation of somebody with a camera and the expertise to run it, a location, a uh, some What are you going to be doing, Polo? Animal organs. I will be... Eating uh, sandwiches. 90, what do you bring to the table? 90% of the work will be mine. It'll all The whole film will come together based on my participation, because I will be one of the actors. And I'll basically... Wait a minute, what? You're an actor? I'm going to be the director and the actor, yes. The anyway. ego now, the Citizen Kane, that has gone to this guy's head. I know you're not in your 20s. No, and I Except am... Except back in the 20s. One of the hey, school's people. a drag. I'm not, one of the, <laughs> I'm not one of the five people I'm, I'm casting. I've obviously cast myself already, so I don't need to... Are you the bad out. guy? I'm, I, and that's another problem. I've already become partly uh, the character to a certain extent. I'm getting into his world already, which is a very, very bad place. A very, very. When I hear this idiot talk, I think we got a shot because it's so stupid. Very bad. That I'd want to see it. It's so bad that it's seeable. I was looking for a type, and then I looked in the mirror and said, "That's him." <laughs> Yeah, to a certain extent, I was always thinking along the lines of a, a different person. But to make this cheaply, the only way to do this cheaply is for me to take the main part. Sure, I understand. Uh, James, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, I, uh, I go to school out in New York for theater, and I got a ton of people who do the movie for for free. I, I, I understand, and there's a whole bunch of film schools. Obviously, we wouldn't mind putting out a little bit of a, uh, a feelers to the uh, film schools because, you know, there's tons of people out there who are used to working in... All right, in Bobo, you're on that, right? Yes, I am. All right, we <laughs> need sound and a camera. All right, in I terms, to, in terms obviously of... obviously, a, a location that looks uh, similar to uh, the guy in the Silence of the Lamb, you know, a nice place where, where there's no real windows and... Uh, you know, there can be some screaming and stuff like that. All right, so it's going to be you torturing kids. I'm not uh, saying the full extent of what... You know that's what it is, Bolo. But that's uh, that's an essential element. That's an essential element. Is your wife going to be in this? Uh, no, she'll be in the uh, in the extras, in the DVD extras. Hey, she Paul, extra. uh, in terms of post-production, I have a vast knowledge of Avid and Final Cut, so I will offer my services for editing. Great, great. As I say, our biggest concern, the editing is Great. not going to be a big issue. The biggest well, how are you going to put the movie together? I understand, but there's going to be a certain way that this is going to be done that, you know, it's sort of going to be filmed in the camera or edited in the camera to a certain extent. But, yeah, we want to fine-tune it by all means. I right? see. So, like Blair Witch, we find the camera. No, I didn't say we're, we're going to find the camera or we're going to find or it's going to be like I love what you're Blair doing, Polo. So you're shooting a movie in real time. Smart, uh, finally. There will be extended scenes, yeah. By all means, uh, I appreciate every bit of help, but we want to obviously minimize 
the uh, involvement to a core group, a very tight group who 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 will get a back end deal. I see, Mike, you're on my face. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, listen, Paul, if you want to learn how to do this right, you should see a movie called See This Movie, roughly about a guy who enters a film festival with a movie he hasn't even made yet. Yeah, I mean, there's all these great little... And one of the things that whoever, uh, is, you know, I'm going to need a rep to go to the festival because I cannot represent the film myself. No, okay? Earl and I will do that. That's when Earl and I come in. We have the contacts now. Yeah, because uh, they're going to ask uh, who the director is and all that kind of stuff, and you're going to uh, going to keep. I'm going to keep it. you as a mystery. You, yeah, it's going to be a mystery. I want to say, believe me, this guy's retarded. <laughs> you know, well, get going I mean, with that no, angle. We said a mystery. I don't want you to reveal anything. Right? <laughs> he may be retarded. <laughs> yeah, I'll I mean, just say that. Then you become, who knows? <laughs> then you become a sentimental Oscar favorite. Uh, uh, here's uh, Benny. You're on Run I've Fez. actually thought about the Oscar speech for this film. Yeah. So, and, and it could happen. Benny, go ahead, buddy. Hey, can I be the teamster that sits by the truck and reads the There's no paper? Teamster. All right, first of all, Polo. Okay, I've been... This is not in the u union project. This is, uh, from my understanding of the SAG rules and all of the rules, considering the budget, there was no need to concern ourselves with unions. I want again. you to understand something. I, I hear like that you're handing back end out to some of the actors. I, I the want... problem for them, that if this thing makes money, right, and I'm involved in it, right. you're going to start finding bodies around like good fellas, because uh, I cannot share money with these fucking kids who haven't been there from day one, like me. Yeah, uh, well, that's your concern. That's You'll your concern. see them on meat hooks I before I'll take two hundred dollars out of my pocket. I, I can't do it. I can't ha hand over money. I want good faith with my actors, and uh, I want to take care of them. But right. Be, you know, a lot of these people will do it for nothing, but that doesn't mean if, if we make $175 million that they shouldn't get, a, you know, a, a couple hundred dollars. You know, that'd be nice. I don't even like the idea of that. <laughs> but, okay. So I, I'm, I'm going to so, throw something to Fez for being in the cameo. And, you know... I'll you work know, for a scale. No kidding aside. That, a that, scale. That would be... Uh, you know, we want to... You need keep that the, to keep an eye on your diabetes. You know, by all, and I'm trying to help you by keeping the participation to the... To the, you to know, the bare minimum, Paulo. Bare minimum. Keep the crew, a core crew, that everybody who is there deserves a taste. Not just hangers-on, sitting around eating donuts, and then they expect... All right, let me ask you something. Are you, is there any... Scenes with a puppet in it, because um, if there is, there's a young performer that I think I can get my hands on. Now, to a certain extent, you know, Saw uh, and uh, the hostel Saw, of course, with the puppet, right, uh, inspired me slightly. But I have no need for a puppet. But I'm not. Oh, I didn't know that. Saw had a puppet in it. Me neither. Yeah, I never saw say seen they Saw. i <laughs> They've done two of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've got the perfect name for our movie. Are you ready for this? Uh huh. Saw three. Ooh. <laughs> no, and the there will be a lineup when we unveil. There was, there's the puppet in Saw, and everybody, obviously the Saw three is, tie, is tied up, and I'm not doing Saw three. Saw it's, with with two W's, though. Saw three. Yeah, but we were just having a concern about the the gap, and, the, and it's not the gap. It's gap with small letters. So you were worried about legal issues with gap. Let me worry about the gap. I'll burn that fucking place down before I give them gap, two dollars. Gap, uh, G -A You'll see fucking pants suits on fire all over the country before I open my wallet. I'm saying yeah, I, but that's the thing. I do need legal advice. My legal advice is this: you go over that ten grand, we start using real blood I, in this film, and it's going to be yours. The only legal you advice know, you need is from a divorce lawyer. As you know, I'm fairly. I have a lot of fluids, and I'm not what? against <laughs> shedding a little blood. You know, a pound of flesh, something along those lines. Right. But personally, but I mean, the fact is, is that I would. The, one of the most, probably the biggest thing of the ten thousand dollars, or, or you know, a guy who is a business savvy, entertainment type lawyer, to be involved to make sure that we are uh, avoiding any of the pitfalls. We got Mikey Boy for that. He's our lawyer. Is he uh, practicing? Uh, does he has he gone? Practices. He hasn't done it yet, but he's practiced. <laughs> 
at his uh, house. So Make sure we get one of those disclaimers in there, Polo, mm -hmm. that your wife was not harmed during the making of this film, so we don't have the Humane Society and breathing down her neck. No joke hey, that she wants to commit suicide because of the dog. Now she just. I would laugh. Do not get Pete involved with this. All right. You're better off calling a movie Death to the Jews than you are killing a fucking single fly in films nowadays. Hey! I'm, well, I'm yeah, saying animal. how crazy it is, Bobo. Oh, okay. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm sorry. I Show business about, talk. Forgot he's on the line. And, you know, Bobo is, is far from the only person who, you know, who has expressed interest, but, I mean, clearly he's... He's a very nice guy, and I feel very comfortable with him and everything else. Is we, you know, there's people emailing you, I hear, and things like that, and they talk about write-offs and all this stuff, which is how much my... money have you raised so far, Bobo? Ten uh, k. Yeah, he, I, he he basically wants to come up with a hundred percent. Right. And I'm just saying, you know, we could sell you like, like to spread it around eight hundred percent of this, or or you know, two thousand percent of the movie. You know, and, and pocket the rest or something. But I mean, you know, that's what they did in that. But I mean, the, the point is, is that you know, Bobo wants to do it 100. percent I'm just trying to make sure that that uh, we we have a guy, a legal advice that will will avoid the pitfalls, obviously, with the unions and all that stuff. Because you know, the mob tends to get involved with this stuff too. I hear. Well, you're going to shoot this so fast. Who's going to have time to hear yeah, about? Yeah, they're not going to have time. Normally, you have to have lights and trucks. Before there's any interest. So we need to keep our location secret. It's going to look like you're shooting a birthday party. <laughs> it's going to be one camera and four kids. No one is going to come around. To a certain extent, yeah. Leading to the bloody as cake. As long as we don't broadcast it over any kind of a medium where people will know where we're going or, or anybody will be aware of our... I plan on doing an XM remote from there. I, I'm... That's kind of that's kind of a, you know uh, the problem to a certain extent is that to a, to a kind of a, to a certain extent I wanted to keep this uh, very quiet very hush hush. Now the I, other thing I'm working on is product placement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of funding can come from that. Well, I mean, I have no problem with. Uh, you Polo, know, would you mind killing these kids with a pair of Nikes? <laughs> uh, Nikes? I don't know how you would do that. You're swinging them around. You're hitting them. No, I, I don't see. No. And I, at one point, I want you to work in I the line. I them with the Nikes. These are some great Nikes. <laughs> yeah, I, I Into the Z. The They're Nikes. killer. Yeah. Um, so she's back now. Apparently, she dropped the dog off, and she's coming back, and she must have went out and bought some booze or something. What's wrong with that booze, Henry? Can't she put the booze down? No. No, and she knows. She's got so many pills going in the I don't the want her booth. fucking up this movie, Polo. I know, and I'm, I, you know, there's Where a Where is she concern. now? There's a big, she just came in the door. Hey, Gail. The only thing uh, we... So how's everything with the dog? Uh, she's not. She's probably gone to the supermarket or the liquor store and has got like bags and bags of liquor. She's too busy. She's talking like in the distance, and she has too. Well, and, walk and over and not close to her. I can't get close to her from this phone. What do you still have a cord on your phone? Like it's nineteen eighty three? Yeah, I have one phone. I have a uh, a cell phone, and I have a a, a landline. A and let's phone. shoot the movie with a kinescope. <laughs> I don't believe in those, uh, you know, those wireless phones that you have in the home because the the feds uh, monitor that stuff. Yeah, they really care about you too. <sighs> but, Is there any chance of having your wife get stolen as product placement? I mean, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind while I'm torturing to make a few nice cocktails for people and stuff like that. That's that's fine with me. And uh, mm, that's you know. good booze. <laughs> <laughs> but the 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 issue is. I, I have it all in my head, and I'm all ready to go. Well, why don't you write it down into a script? I, I, I'm i got this all in my head, and it's all ready to go. Three days, four days, it'll be done. But I have to have a couple of months lead time when I know I have a definite start date, get the time off, and get a little uh, expense money to come up because, you know, my life is... <laughs> Wait a minute, well, expense money? Yeah, well, I Where's this coming in? Car, and, I, and then I could stay at the location where we're going to do the filming... The only problem is to ha have maybe have a, a, a monitor or, or a, a, a somebody to, to to keep Gail busy, keep her out of my hair. Why does she have to come with you? She, because if I leave her here, there's enormous potential for catastrophe. Uh, I still say that's the movie. You leave her alone with a camera. And to a certain extent, you know, you have never met her in, you know, slash slash years. You don't know, you know, you didn't, you didn't, uh, you, you know, so you, there's a potential 
for you actually to see her in the flesh. Take her to Central Park and we can shoot Madagascar too. I understand. And uh, so I'm going to, at this point, you know, Back I'm down. not going to care too much about this because, I mean, to a certain extent, it seems like it's happening, but I, I feel like my dreams are going to get dashed. I hope so, Polo. <laughs> That's the beauty of this. No matter what happens, you feel bad. Your dreams or your skull. Yeah, because... You know, I, my I'm, hope is this. This thing makes so much money, and I wrestle that cash away from you. <laughs> that's my real dream on this project. I'll show it with a handful of magic beans, and you'll have yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I want iron ironclad contracts, because I, I can see that happening. No one's going to write a contract on iron. I mean, this Hollywood business is ruthless from well, where I Well, you know, what can I tell you? I'm a Hollywood shark. And I'm, I'm <laughs> on the artist end, and, you know, we don't care about those, you know, those those financial things. We're all about the creative angle. And, you know, I could see being taken advantage of because I'm more concerned about finishing my dream. Right. Than, you know. But it, it, That's what I want you to focus on. Let me and Bobo uh, worry about big things like 10 grand. <laughs> and, you know, it's all laughing aside, we said... So I know, but I'm just a little nervous because I haven't put that around this much money since I got that lawnmower. I know. So, and I don't know. I don't want this to be the same as a riding mower. That See, paid my, off, though. My yeah. tent pole picture would have been maybe uh, $80 million, and obviously that's something... That's that more. <laughs> that's that, what we do next time. Yeah, that's something not everybody would trust me to do, but here, clearly... It, most people. We're going to be watching you like a hawk with the ten grand. <laughs> Who wouldn't trust you with eighty million? When I heard you needed to rent a car, I was already annoyed. <laughs> I know. I have to rent a car. And what's wrong with stuff. hitchhiking to your film? You're and, getting a rickshaw with your wife pulling it. I have it. four dogs, or maybe three. Don't bring those fucking mangy mutts. I have to bring the dogs because if I do, if I don't, then I got to board them, and that's almost as expensive or more expensive than, and you know, board or drowned. No, you know, first of all, the third, the fourth Mr. dog, who's not. This is becoming well. a deal breaker. I got news for you. Uh, the fourth dog is, you know, she thinks it's it's God. Gail thinks it's God. Who is she, Son of Sam? And she actually thinks... Son of Sam with a wig. And she's been... But that now she's wavering and she's cursing God. She's been cursing God the last few days because he's going to take... I'm telling you, that's the fucking movie following that psycho Regis around. Regis away from her. So she's been screaming at... What's your dog's name, Regis? Well, there's Regis, there's... Uh, Truffle, Kelly. there's Napoleon and Eclair, Stop and now. Regis is the old one, and he's always had uh, breathing problems. Do not name a dog after food with that wife of yours around. Well, they're all, uh, the, the, Napoleon is a food, and Truffles is a food, and Eclair is a food. Yeah, they're all foods except Regis. All right, hold on. I think we're on to a camera, and then we'll, we'll go to break, okay, Polo? Yes. Hey, uh, Dengo, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, I would uh, love if you guys would let me use my video camera on my cell phone. All right, Polo, can you shoot this entire movie on a cell phone? Um, and if you can, I think I got everything wrapped up. Obviously, the cell phone, camera quality, uh, and there's no sound. Is there even sound on a cell phone? I don't think there's sound on a cell phone. Of course there's sound ringtones. on a phone. And I don't You're going to have ringtones, if that I means anything. don't know. It could be a really, really, really good cell phone. You can... Plug it into a computer, into your Pro Tools or whatever it is, and, it, and you could actually turn out a pretty good movie, for all I know. But we are looking for the best possible camera we can all get. Right, and Paulo, clearly, we this guy is mocking me with his cell phone reference. I mean, that's ridiculous. All right, go to help your wife get the liquor out of the fucking bag. Okay, sir. Make it a good day. Thank you, sir. We'll take a uh, break. There you have it. We're all involved in a big, big movie. Right now, it's called Gap. I want to call it the uh, Saw 3. No one's going for that. Or bloody cake. <laughs> Fucking starving. Can I get a bloody cake around, Earl? No. Not at all. <laughs> Just regular cake. Blech. We'll be right back and end the show, Ron Fest. Everyone's gone to the movies. Now we're alone again. Everyone's gone to the movies. Now we're alone again. Fessy, the Ron and Fest show. XM2.